<laughs> please, can we please forget Italy. Florence? Uh, it was an action-packed weekend in Atlantic City, uh, yeah, with plenty of celebrities uh, to rival Kim and Kanye's big day. In fact, there's a relationship between the two. John Legend was at the wedding, and then the very next moment, he's in Atlantic City with Whitney. Hi, Whitney. Hi, how are you guys? Super. Where was John Legend? Oh, John Legend was at the Borgata this weekend for Memorial Day weekend, just on the heels of the Kim and Kanye wedding. How cool was that? Amazing. He's such a world and he was traveler. There with, yes. I know he is, and the Borgata also hosted some great people as well, including the Monkees. They were there too. Hold on, so they had them. a great weekend at the Borgata. The Monkees, yeah, had a show. remember the Monkees? Hey, hey. Yeah, <laughs> they, they, they still tour with that. Yeah, they Jones. did have a show. That's yeah. true. Oh, did you get a pic? Of yeah. Them? You know what? I didn't get a chance to attend the Monkees, unfortunately, but I heard stink. it was a great concert, and I also heard... <laughs> what? I'm uh, sorry, well, I didn't hear you. Did you get a pic of Chelsea Handler? Because I know she was there. <laughs> Yeah, oh, Chelsea Handler was so much fun. Oh, she had a very controversial show. There were two hecklers in the audience, and they both got kicked out, so it was a little embarrassing. Plus, there was a family there that brought their young children, like 12 and 14, and it was highly inappropriate for them. But all in all, it was a great show. Had a great time at Chelsea Handler yesterday at Caesars. Okay. You seem to have this fascination with Juicy J. <laughs> no, that's you, Mike. You're Juicy J now, right? <laughs> According to last time. Yeah, no, Juicy J, he performed at the Haven Nightclub at the Golden Nugget for their one year anniversary on Memorial Day weekend. A lot of fun. The place was so packed. I can't even tell you. People were shoulder to shoulder. I'm glad I was in the VIP section, but it was a lot of fun. Juicy J put on a great performance. He was bouncing it. Yeah, your boyfriend <laughs> just walked by you, by the way. You didn't see him. Uh, you run into Billy? Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, say that again. I didn't hear you, Mike. Billy! <laughs> Billy Gardell. Oh, right. Billy Gardell. He was at the Borgata. He was so funny. We had a great time at his show. He's a realist. He talks a lot about marriage. And the cool thing is we all know him as Mike from the Mike and Molly show. Yeah. They're going to be kicking off their fifth season soon. So we're real excited for him about that. What about the Edwards twins? Oh, the Edwards twins are so cool. You have to go see them. They perform almost daily at the new Claridge Hotel in Atlantic City. I love them. Eddie Edwards and Anthony Edwards, they're twins. They can do female, male impersonations. Everybody from Cher to Barbara Streisand to Bette Midler to Sonny Bono, everybody. You have to see their show. They're an amazing, amazing group of guys with great talent. Highly recommend going to see them at the new Claridge Hotel. And I heard about this place I must go to, a new swinging kind of lounge oh, place. Yeah. It's called Bar A. Yeah. It's down at the Boardwalk at Mississippi, right? Yes. That's correct. They actually took over the Trump Plaza Beach Bar in Atlantic City, and now they're called Bar A, which is short for Bar Anticipation. Now, there is a Bar A up in North Jersey that is very popular amongst the, many of the crowds. So now they're in Atlantic City, which is cool. They're going to be bringing their DJs and talent back and forth. It's a lot of fun. I'm glad it's in Atlantic City this year. That's cool. Hey, Whitney, have a great, great day. Yeah.